Hi everyone, uh, this is Dan, and I am super sick. Oh, I'm fighting some like animal disease right now. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, this is uh, Green Lantern Omnibus Volume 2 of the Silver Age. <clears throat> and the issue we're doing today is uh, number 59, or Green Lantern number 59. And this is the first appearance of uh, Guy Gardner. Uh, so one thing to note about Silver Age G Guy Gardner it is this character has literally nothing to do with uh, current day Guy Gardner uh, that I guess most people are are uh, familiar familiar with uh, the Warrior Guy Gardner or maybe if you're one of the newer comics the Red Lantern uh, Guy Gardner uh, this guy uh, what this uh, essentially was uh, this was like an altered reality storyline so. Uh, Hal Jordan is over at o Oa, and uh, the Guardians are kind of showing him this interesting tape, which is like a a uh, memory recording of Avin Sur, who was the uh, the alien that uh, uh, gifted uh, Hal Jordan his ring. And it's just a nice little flashback of what happened in the first issue back in the Showcase uh, comics. And in this case, uh, Hal's kind of like, hey... Uh, during this, it, it was really interesting. It shows off that there's actually two people that Avin Sur uh, sort of saw as recommendations to become the next Green Lantern, but Hal happened to be the closest one. Uh, so uh, Hal's like, "Hey, uh, why don't we? Uh, I want to see who this other guy is, just to, just to see." So they kind of run the machine to kind of provide sort of an alternate reality of what would happen if this guy, Guy Gardner, was chosen to be Green Lantern. Uh, Guy's an interesting character. He's a PE teacher, which is like, okay, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure if, uh, if a PE instructor is like, uh, the prototype for, for a hero, but it's kind of an interesting choice. And, uh, he gets into his first adventure as Green Lantern, uh, just busting up these guys that are, uh, destroying factories. Uh, he beats him up and then, uh, it goes through and says now he kind of lives through the same uh, real or the same alter reality as Hal Jordan beating up Sinestro, Black Hand, Doctor Polaris, blah blah blah, all these weirdos. And then we get into the second half of the comic, which is the side story with uh, Guy Gardner, uh, Green Lantern, and he goes to this planet where he sees a bunch of robots just constantly fighting each other. And uh, when he kind of stops them and scans them, he finds out that this whole world is run by children that have, for whatever reason, they cannot mature, they can't grow up, and they've just remained children forever. So when he goes over to investigate, the children have these strong psychic abilities, and they basically take control of Guy Gardner and uh, send him out to go destroy his enemies. By the way, really uh, kind of simple, silly story. Uh, one side of the children wore all wear blue, and the other side wear orange. Something about colors in Green Lantern. <laughs> Always got to have the colors, right? So he goes over there, uh, beats up a bunch of orange machines. Uh, you get some pretty cool art. This is really cool. This is actually really interesting art for the time. Uh, you can see, uh, was it Gil Kane drawing a hand right here? It's actually a really cool uh, drawing. And then uh, when he gets near the end, uh, the orange kids also try to take, uh, you know, psychic uh, control over him. And then he uses that to overcome their con both of their control. Then he puts on a freaking, you know, a, like a gladiator suit or something like this. Some sort of robot suit. And uh, the conflict is resolved in like two panels. <laughs> you can almost tell that like uh, John Brom was almost like tired of this story already. Like... Yeah, I'm tired of this. Let's just resolve this right now. Kids don't fight each other, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, you know, Guy Gardner runs back home to uh, do whatever he's doing. Very interesting. Guy Gardner has, like, a different uh, uh, Green Lantern oath than uh, than uh, Hal Jordan. Uh, he catches a very devastating plague, uh, which ends up killing him. And this alternate reality, that's how Hal Jordan becomes Green Lantern. Uh, and at that point, they get back to the real reality, and Hal Jordan's looking on this like, huh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, can I go meet this guy? Then the uh, Guardians are like, yeah, sure, you can do it. Whatever. We don't care. <laughs> and they end up meeting each other at an athletic club, which is sort of weird because, uh, according to this, 
uh, Guy Gardner lives in around or near East City, and Hal Jordan is in, uh, I think, what is it, Coast City or somewhere on the West Coast, right? So what does Hal Jordan just literally fly out to the East Coast just to go work out with Guy Carter? <laughs> kind, of a, kind of an interesting story, honestly. But yeah, it, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I, I kind of see, so uh, looking into the history of Guy Gardner, he kind of got redesigned sometime in the, uh, in the 80s. By, I believe it was, uh, was it Engel? Yeah, Steve Englehart. And uh, and they they kind of turned him into the character that we now know, who's a bit of like macho dickhead dude. Uh, but honestly, I, I kind of like looking back on it, I kind of see why they did that because this character is super boring in uh, in these comics. So boring that even uh, John Braun <laughs> was was pretty much like done with that after like one issue. <laughs> But uh, sort of interesting to see the the origins of the character, and uh, kind of interesting to to get back to it. This is, I believe, the last Silver Age uh, Green Lantern comic I'm going over, and then I'll be heading back to the uh, Denny O'Neill series for uh, John Stewart, and then we're pretty much doing more contemporary Green Lantern from there on out. Anyhow, real quick review, uh, mainly because I feel like I'm dying right now. Uh, but if you like the video, uh, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, if you have any comments about Guy Gardner or this old-ass Silver Age comic, uh, leave them down below, and uh, I will see you next time.